Okay, it's Roger. Don't freak out. You don't have to know any of this. I just want you to understand the basic configuration of an atom. Now, an atom has a nucleus. We all probably know that. And then it has a bunch of electrons that surround it. The number of electrons depends on the number of protons. Now, the number of protons normally equals the number of electrons in the shells. However, there are almost always extra Nu neutrons they call them. And I'm going to say these neutrons do not exist. Part of this theory is that neutrons do not exist and the electrons literally flood the positive particles until they can ex uh, collect no more whatsoever but they still have a positive pull so these collect in their orbitals. Now depending upon how many protons you have in here how many will co collect in the shells. That's quantum and because they're all the same charges they push each other away in exact distances I don't believe these are correct alignments I believe this guy would be over here somewhere and the other one would be over here and they would have 30 inches all around is what I call it so they're gonna own a region they're not gonna be collected up they might be I don't know but they would try to repulse each other. Well, I'll show you the pictures we have, and that'll show you exactly how they line up. Well, that's how they line up right there in those little patterns. That is polarization. At each little molecule or atom or, or electron, whatever it is exactly, I can't tell you 100% for sure at this point, but I can tell you one thing. That pattern is polarization from a charged particle flashing through at an extremely excited rate. You don't see these normally. This is coming through here because it's been excited through an acceleration device. That's why they're creating these fields, and those fields are nothing more than a huge amount of magnetic interaction to a particle bashing into them. They're all negatives floating around here, and the guy says, I'm coming through, and it's, oh, no, 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 oh, yeah. And he comes, and they just get, they all line up around him. As, and that's called a Higgs field, and that's called a boson particle, and that's called Cheryankov radiation. All right, these are neutrino showers, neutrino electron showers. Wow, you saw that real glowy white. That's Cheryankov. It's it's excited, I believe, higher than it should be because it's 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 going to crash down and become a normally less excited light because it's coming into another medium, and it is exceeds the 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 rate that that, that medium can accept. So it 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 smashes and it it glows. Anything that smashes glows. That's what energy is. All right, this is what we're dealing with, is this electron neutrino. These are electrons because they're shooting out of a light source, and light is electrons. Now, the electron coming out at high energy smashes into a, and creates a Cheryankov radiation. Cheryankov radiation from the electron shower produced by an electron neutrino. They say an electron, the high-speed electron, they, they don't, you know, they claim that there's, it's really nothing almost but it creates all this effect. Well, it is something, and it's an electron, right? And it's produced by an electron neutrino event, produces multiple cones, and therefore a diffuse pattern in the detector. Right? Exactly what I'm showing. Now, they have a different one, a muon neutrino, and I, I, I'm not going to talk about that because I have nothing to say. This, I know, it, well, I have something to say. It's Roger Mudfossil University today with Unified Interaction Theory. This would be considered unified fields theory. That's fine. Call it whatever you want. But it's the interaction of particles. What it is, is collisions. That's all that makes matter, is collisions. Now, I'll explain the whole thing. Let's just start with this. Very simple. All elements are atoms. All elements are made are, are atoms. They all have electrons coating their protons. They all atoms have positive protons in the core. Nobody will dispute that. All atoms are surrounded by negative electrons in orbits. I don't think anybody would, ex would dispute that. Therefore, all surfaces are 100% covered with electrons. 100%. Everything you see has electrons coating it like paint. Nobody can deny that. Now, EFT theory is electron flood theory, which is light. Light is electrons. It's not nothing particles. It's electrons. And they come from the sun and they float through space to us 
then they collide that's when their energy is seen now excited molecules emit light so when anything shakes and it gets excited and hot it, it glows and then all of a sudden it starts emitting light they are electrons they're negative electrons they're the things that coat everything they're shaking them and then they coat and they kick off a piece of paint that's all it is now from these excited surfaces they, they're thrown away as ether they're particles they're free electrons they go flying away they, if they're in space the electrons are ether and they're dark matter because they don't interact with anything. There's nothing for them to collide with. There are no nuclear masses that are coated by electrons out there. All there is is particles being spit out from these excited surfaces like from the sun and different galaxies and so forth. So 99% of that stuff is out there and it's dark matter. That's what a dark matter is. It's those electrons that are on their way to becoming light and heat. So, there are no neutrons either. This is my other statement. There are no neutrons in the nucleus. Neutrons don't exist. There's no, they don't roll around anywhere. Never ever saw a neutron that doesn't, isn't attached to a, a proton. What it is, is that the protons, it's, it's an electronic flood onto the protons. And gravity is protonic interaction. It's the protons pulling everything that has electrons, and everything has electrons. Right? The plus pulls and not minuses. Every single thing there is has electrons coding it. I just said that and you believed it. Okay, well, didn't you? All, right, all atoms have electrons floating around them, so I have electrons. Light, if it is, if I'm right, is electrons, which I am right. They come through space as negative particles and they are attracted to protons, so they are attracted. That is gravity. Protonic attraction is gravity. Alright, this is by guide wiki atomic bomb testing now i show this all the time to prove the fact that there is anti-gravity and anti-gravity is an atomic bomb the core of the atomic bomb i said that the positiveness of the earth pulls everything in that has negatives that is a fact everything there is has negatives in its natural configuration that is a fact however when you pack atomic bomb material so tightly c contained, it all a bazillion, trillion, gazillion electrons are so tight that they really don't want to be there. And then you crush it, they all leave at the same time like the white Cheryankov radiation that I displayed. And what you're left with is a positive core. And that positive core now has no electrons, so it repels the positiveness of Earth. This is the only time I know of that you will have positive matter on the face of the planet. It goes straight up in the air and then tries to reconstitute itself. Extremely obvious because it's no longer an explosion here. It didn't go all over this way. It went straight up in the air and as it did it kept trying to grab anything it could get to bring itself back together into normal matter and here it goes. Man's worst invention. Here's all your electrons are gone. They vaporized all the atmosphere. Now the core is glowing like hell, saying, where would all my electrons go? They said, I don't know, they just went out and killed a whole lot of people. He said, what do I do now? I said, I don't know, you can just go straight up in the air and see if you can get some more electrons. The Earth is pushing you away. He said, why is it pushing me away? He said, you don't have any electrons. He said, all right, I'll get some electrons. Pull them all back in so it's grabbing everybody. Come on, back, back, back. <laughs> and that is why it glows up here. It's glowing up there because it's trying to bring itself back into matter and at the same time it says get out of here you're, you're not supposed to be here you're a positive that is not normal all right mud fossil university i'm going to put up an extremely long very boring i'm sure uh, detailed analysis of what's inside the nuclear core or, or inside the uh, nuclear core the neutron uh, well there is no neutrons but how the 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 nuclear core is constructed and then how everything else interacts with that core but i think i'll stop it for today and that'll be a part two all right okay i say ether pervades space it's ubiquitous it's everywhere you cannot avoid it it's just, it's every single it's everywhere all right now listen to this 
they talk about neutrons all the time. Neutron, neutron. There is no neutrons. So what they're saying is the mass of a neutron is 1.008, okay? The mass of a proton is 1.007, okay? The mass of an electron is way down to nothing. Well, we need to replace this mass because this is not true. It's not true. So we need to replace the mass with the electrons. So that means we need 1,800 electrons to replace every single place there was a neutron. All right, so the, the and they swarm the proton because that only control it's very very weak. It controls very big space with a very little power. It has the same power as every one of these and there's 1800 and something of them. So this is what creates the strong nuclear force, and it creates the repulsive orbital forces, and it creates the ether, and it creates electricity, and light, and sound, and heat, and everything that we know of as energy. And it is strictly from collisions, and vibrations, and mo molecules, or I mean, well, molecules, yes, atoms, uh, uh, electrons, molecules, invading other people's regions. That creates heat. And that's what creates energy. It's all about push to shove. And that's exactly what uh, Tesla said. It's all about vibration. Vibration starts with, with sound, and that's that's electricity prior to conduction. That's all it is. It's bing, 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 and they just bounce around. They don't have enough to conduct to the just go flying off, and then that's when you get light. 